I've always liked it. I like unusual music, and this is unusual music. Some of our music goes back to the time of Shakespeare. Uh, it was analyzed once by a musicologist as being about 13 different styles of music. We sing them all, they're all written in the same method. The, uh, what we use, the shape dope system, is an American invention. It uh, was invented about 1798 by two music teachers up in New England. And these innovative singing masters decided that they would create shapes on the page as well as putting notes on a staff. They created shapes to match the four syllables that the English system has always used, fa, so, la, and mi. If you look at the scale as it's printed in shape notes, it's fa, so, la, fa, so, la, mi, fa. It's not that we sing only four notes, it's that those four shapes are used to make a system that allows people to look at the shapes and then hear the tune in their heads. They are older harmonies, Renaissance harmonies, even late medieval harmonies, and they sound strange. It may be startling. There's no sense of dynamics. Everything's loud. That's, that's basically it. As shape note singing migrated down the Shenandoah Valley and into the upland south, it became very popular and was nurtured and was, was maintained by families that were committed to it, by communities that were committed to it. And the South really became a kind of a, a kind of an incubator for it. Well, my father taught me how to sing and my younger sister too. We thoroughly enjoyed it. We had a church membership, but if there was a singing somewhere, that's where we had to go. It's inspirational to me. You know, you just you feel good all over to sing it. I love it. Well, I was born into it, you might say, because my family and most of my relatives sang Sacred Heart. Since I like that kind of music, obviously I would try to compose in that style. I don't have any idea of how good it is. I, li I like it, but. The singers themselves are the judges of what you write. And if they don't like it, they don't sing it. We sing out of books that are entitled The Sacred Harp, a four-shaped tune book that was first published in 1844 in Hamilton, Georgia. Going to a Sacred Harp singing is not like going to a concert because you don't listen, you participate. We have a monthly singing at Emory Presbyterian Church and this is a good place for people who don't know anything about it to come and learn more. There are singings going on almost every weekend that can be reached within about an hour or so's drive of Atlanta. Shape note singing is a way for me to be connected with a part of myself and my family and my tradition that is almost lost here in this urban area. When you first hear it, you'll think, that's weird sounding, that's strange sounding. And then as you keep listening, you'll think, I love it. <laughs> 